For today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at chain stitch and lazy daisy stitch. The items you will need are some material. Today we're going to be using some felt, some scissors, some embroidery threads and a needle. So to begin with, take your piece of material and then we need to thread up the needle. So we're going to take the thread and there are six strands to a piece of embroidery thread and we're just going to be using three. So we need to divide it in half, just run your finger down, down the middle and divide it into two pieces. So then you can pop one, one piece to one side and thread up the needle with the other piece. Once we've threaded the needle, we need to make a small knot on the end of the piece of thread. So we're going to start from underneath, come up through the fabric with your needle and take the thread off to one side, secure it under your thumb and then we go back in through the hole that we've just made and come up to make the stitch. We wrap the thread round so the needle is actually coming through the loop. So this loop is the first link of the chain. Pull it to tension it slightly but not too much because we don't want to close the hole up too much. So back in again through where you came the last stitch up and out again through that loop that chain pull the tension slightly back in through the hole that you've just made up through the middle of the loop and pull again try and get the the link so that they're looking the similar sort of a size. Back in again through the loop. Pull and keep working your way along to do chain design. A few more stitches. Back in through that hole and up. So each time bring in, bring in the thread to the same side and drop it under your thumb to keep it secure while you pull it through. Down. I'm just going to finish off by securing that last loop so you come the other side of, of that chain loop and secures it down. Then underneath, just catch that through the loop and wrap that round to make a knot. Pull it through, there's your knot which you can now trim off. And there, now you have a little line of chain stitch. Next thing I'm going to show you is Lazy Daisy, so we'll take a different colour and we'll thread this up, so again, come up, very similar to chain stitch, pull it to one side, trap under your thumb, back in through the hole you've just made and up through that middle of the loop, but this time we're just going to secure it, so we come the down side of that loop and we'll go down to secure. You've got a simple simple single stitch. Do another one. So up, take the 
thread to one side, trap under the thumb, bring it round so that it kind of forms a loop, back in through the hole and up, through the middle of the loop, pull it to give it a bit of tension. Just not too tight because if you pull it too tight then the hole closes up and it makes makes it a bit thin. Doesn't really make make a link down to secure it. So they're the single stitches. I'll just secure these at the back. Just take it through. Make a little knot. I can cut that off. What I will do now is demonstrate how to make a flower as on our example piece at the beginning. This is using this, this technique, which is lazy daisy. So you come up, bring it around, make a loop, back in, and up through. Your, then when you come up again, work out where your next petal of the flower wants to be. So then, this opposite, so a little loop, down to secure, and then up where your next petal's going to go. So pop, pop that up there. It's just a case of keep turning it around, working your way around. Back in through the hole and up. First three petals. Secure it, go up again. So I think we're going to have a six petals on this flower. Secure it down and then we'll finish it off underneath. So I poke that through a couple of times. We'll go through the loop to make a knot. There we go, and then we can snip it off. So there we've got the petals of the flower. So the next thing that we need to do is the centre of the flower, so we'll get a different colour again. Make a little knot in the end of the thread. And for this we're going to do a French knot, which we've done in one of our other tutorials. So you come up through the centre, and then make a little stitch trapping in the fabric there, up through. And then we're going to wrap around three times because we want a decent sized French knot. So three wraps of the needle, pull it through, there we go. And then back in to secure the knot in the center of the flower. And then we'll just finish this off at the back. Take the needle through catch the threads in the back, wrap it round, just pull it, make a little knot, we can snip that off. And there we have a lazy daisy. So here's the sample again. So we've got the French knots you can see in the middle, 
and blanket stitch around the edge which you'll find on another tutorial and stem stitch we've used as well to complete our finished item so I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial and that you'll join us again to learn a few more handy stitches and if you've liked the video then maybe you'd like to Join up and subscribe to the Links Inspire YouTube.